Welcome to Mars Mechelen to the Devil's Mountain for the opening round of the 2015 Belgian Rallycross Championship. A nice spring Sunday with a lot of spectators in the crowd. And we start off with one of the heats in the Super 1600 class. This is reigning champion Davy van den Brande in his Citroën DS3. And does he take a good start or is it Dave van Beers in the Clio? It is Van Beers in the Clio who takes the best start. Van den Brande is on the outside. He has to be careful not to be pushed right there. Pascal Romans in the blue and white Ford Fiesta is just behind. But the best start is for uh, Dave van Beers in the red and white Clio. And two joker laps already for Romans and for Bart Stouten in the 206. Dave van Beers trying to get past Van Beers and that's the inside line. Great move there for Van den Brande. And he has the speed. Look at this. He already has two, three, four car lengths. Advantage over Van Beers. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them goes for the joke lap. Indeed, Van Beers goes. As you can see in the background, Bart Stouten has taken second place away from him in the 206. And Ramans passes him as well. So that's a bad lap for Van Beers coming from the lead to fourth position. Slight mistake in the downhill section there of the Devil's Mountain. And he paid that dearly. And it's the heat win for Dave van den Brande. Great way to start the weekend. Davy, you're a reigning champion. What are your ambitions for 2015? I suppose to repeat that title. Yes, indeed, we will try to um, become champion again, but uh, we are aiming for the European Championship as well. We're still looking for some money, but for the moment it's looking good. Uh, we might do all the, all the rounds of the European Championship as well. So that's a good thing. Off to another heat now in the Super Nationals over to Lita. And it's Christoph Brex in the green and black. Volvo who takes the whole shot there into the first corner. Followed by the BMW and the Danny de Beukelaar Corsa. And there's one joke lap already and that's Bad Bosmans in the blue Volvo 242. Beukelaar uh, now chasing Davy Leyson in the BMW. Tries the outside line in the hairpin. That's a maneuver that rarely goes right. And he's still just behind the BMW in the uphill section. Christoph Wex meanwhile has a good lead and takes the win in the heat. Good start of the weekend for him as well. Christoph Wex start of a new season. We will try uh, to do our best. But I don't have any expectations really. And how was your first heat? Yeah, I made a slight mistake in the joker lap, but uh, for the moment it's going well. Off to another heat now, the second heat in the Super National category on the 2 litre. And as you can see, this is a touring car. This season, the touring cars will drive together with the Super Nationals on the 2 litre. That was the Volvo of uh, Jos Tatkins, of course, on the inside line. Let's see if he can take a good start. Not such a good start for Tatkins. And there's some um, pushing and shoving, and Ivo van den Brande goes off. And I think it's Nuis as well in the Fiesta. Yes, and that's all over for van den Brande. Let's look at the incident again from the Volvo of Sterkens. Some pushing and shoving, two cars going wide, and Sterkens is up to second position already. Had a bad start, but uh, even a worse start for those two cars, Ivo van den Brande and Andres Nuis, the dad of Nick Nuis, uh, last year's touring car champion. Sterkens goes for the joke lap immediately. That means that Kurt Lambers in the Ford Sierra now has a solid lead. Some uh, cosmetical damage at the front of that Ford. Nothing too serious probably. Still has to do the joke lap. Lambers. Let's see if he can stay in front of Sterkens. Sterkens who is now chasing the Sierra. Knows this track inside out of course. And if he has a free line as he has right now. He's blindingly quick over this Devil's Mountain rally cross track closing the gap towards the Fort Sierra I think Kurt Lambers might go for a joker lap in the next one maybe he should have done it in this lap because Sterkens is coming closer all the time there's no way Lambers can stay in front of the Volvo unless Sterkens makes a mistake and that's not gonna happen and here we go even after a bad start in the heat Sterkens takes the lead in this one 
he's almost home for a heat victory. Just once more up and down the mountain. And that's it. Heat win for Sterkens in front of Kurt Lammer. And there's uh, some damage at the Mitsubishi of uh, Ivo van den Brandt. And some repairs are necessary. Ivo, Ivo, you had to do some repairs. What was wrong? Well, we had the track rot problem. And the subframe was damaged as well. So we're trying to weld it now. And we should be right for the third heat. Kostarkens has no such problems. But maybe with the driver. Kostarkens, the start of a new season. How is it going? No, it's going rather well. The car is, uh, is going uh, fine. But I think I have to get in shape because uh, after three laps I'm, uh, I was very happy. I saw the checkered flag. I was completely empty. Off to another heat now. In the Super Nationals over two litre. With Bart Bosmans and Monty Kasse on the outside. But it's Bosmans and reigning champion Luc Maris who take the best start from uh, Van Genoegde in the red Volvo and a mistake there from Kasse who drops to last and a mistake there from Maris going into the joker lap as well keeps his flagship 242 under control though so Bosman's now leading from Van Genoegde battle of the 242's again and let's see who comes out in front Bosman's has done his joker lap now and Maris is right behind Van Genoegde Van Genuide still has to do his joker lap and he does that right now, so Maris is now in the lead. Let's see if Van Genuide can hold on to second position. No, he slots in behind uh, Bosmans. Might do another second to happen, but to no avail, so Maris takes the heat win from Bosmans and Van Genuide. Monde Kasse finishes up in fourth. How was your second heat for you, Luke? Well, I had a difficult start. And then I was in the in the pack. I had to joke a lap and I made a small mistake in joke a lap as well. So it's difficult to go um, a fast time then. Off to one of the other heats now. And we're into the supercars division. Jos Janssen. There's no Ron Snook in this heat because the reigning champion blew up his engine in the training sessions and that was the end of the meeting for him. It's uh, Marcel Otting taking the lead here from Janssen and Ronnie Scheveneer is going wide in the Sirocco. Losing some positions, Will Turlings now in the Volvo in third position, Scheveneer slots into fourth. That was a bad start for Jochen Koox in the other Sirocco as well but he took the joker lap. And he will try up to make ground here, oh what a mistake from Otting, slide and Janssen takes it on the inside. Just a mistake on the braking. And he paid the cash. Here's Janssen, fresh out of the World Championship season. Now in the lead of his heat of the first round of the Belgian Championship. Ottenk in second, Thurlings in third. And Koks has overtaken Scheveneels. Battle of the two Sirocco, Scheveneels trying to push. Oh, small mistake there from Janssen. It looks like the car has some technical problems. There's smoke coming out. I think he's going to park the car there. Yes, he does. Will Turning takes over the lead. That's the end of the heat for Janssen. Already had some good times in the other heat, so that's not uh, a big worry. Heat win then for Otting from Turlings. And Scheveniels in third. Jos in the last heat, what was the problem with the car? Yeah, we had a uh, problem with the power steering. There was a leak. So we had some good ties, so we decided to stop the car. Now we tried to drive the final now. Will there be time enough to repair? I think so, yes. Well, everything is. We're working hard to do it. And now off to the first of the finals. This is the final of the RST Cup with those little thick 1300 racing cars. And it's Richard Huisman in the red one, taking the lead from Claudia Smits. The Dutch girl in the blue RST, 1300 Ford engines in these, the smallest division of the Rallycross world, an ideal formula to pick up the sport, 
And it's a good battle between Huisman and Smits with uh, Jordi van Weert, another Dutchman, in the number four car in third position. Smits now putting Huisman under pressure. Can she find place to overtake her countrymen? Not for the moment. Huisman is following the ideal lines and he takes the win, the first one of the season. Great win from Huisman, from Claudia Smits and van Weert. Do it, I should say, with Sam LaHaye in fourth and Marnik Tone in fifth. And that was the end of part one. See you after the break. Back in Maas Mechelen on the Devil's Mountain for the opening round of the 2015 Belgian Rallycross Championship. We're in the stage of the semi-finals and the finals and first we'll take a look at the first semi-final in the Super Nationals under 2 litre category with Jos Sterkens in his Volvo on pole position but it's Martijn van Hoven in the BMW M1 who takes the best start. Poison green shiny BMW has taken the lead. Sterkens in second position, some pushing and shoving behind there. With uh, Jeff Mertens now in third position. Sterkens chasing uh, Van Hover. For the moment, he's still behind. Tony Christians in the Clio. Trying to make up Sterkens, going for the Joker lap. Van Hover already took his Joker lap and he retakes the lead. And Sterkens will slot in in second position. So, win in this first semi final for Martin Van Hover. And Sterkens in second position. Oh, and there's a problem for the Clio, for Hansen. Can he take the finish? Yes, he can. I hope he can stop in time as well. He can't. Ooh, that was... He avoided a small catastrophe there. Off to the final now in the Super Nationals under 2 litre. Sterkens getting ready. Good Lambert as well. And Pedro Coglare in the Civic on the last line of this starting grid. Martin van Hove on the inside line takes the best start. And then Steven Stessen slots in behind the reigning champion. Good start from Van Hover. Sterkens is pushed a bit wide. Takes the outside line. Has taken a hit there. And lost a lot of positions. Lambers holding in behind the Saxo of Yves Thelen. With Martin Van Hover still leading from Steven Stessens. And Yves Thelen in his first international meeting. In the virtual podium position. Van Hover resisting the pressure from the reigning champion and Sterkens now in fifth, back in fifth, but has lost a lot of ground in that opening scrimmage. He will not be happy about that. Sterkens putting Van Hover under pressure. Van Hover goes for the joker lap. Late on the braking, but keeps it under control. Comes out of the joker lap and is now in third position, but still in front of Yves Thelen, who has already taken his joker lap, I think. Van Hoven now losing some time maybe behind Good Lambers that might cost him dearly. And Steven Stessis takes his joker lap. Lambers still has to take his joker lap as well, of course. But he's marginally slower than the BMW. Here goes Lambers. Can Van Hoven now develop the speed he needs to get back in front of Steven Stessis? Looks like the BMW has some technical problems. He was a bit late on pickup there. And here's Kokolare and Sterkens. Sterkens lets by Kokolare and pushes him off. I think that's what happens if Sterkens is pushed off by Kokolare in the opening corner. This is how Sterkens takes his revenge, I think. Stessens now still in the lead. There was a problem with the BMW Van Hover, so Stessens takes it from Yves Thelen. And Kurt Lambers takes the finish in third right in front of Martin van Hoven. Sterkens Kokelare, not very happy. And here's Steven Stessens with a very emotional win. Steven, proficiat and mooi over. Steven, congratulations to start the season. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, it was rather perfect. I had some uh, difficult times because uh, both my parents uh, died in a uh, time lapse of two, two months and thanks to my friends, I was able to get here and I'm, I'm very happy. So a very emotional win for you. Yes, it was it was very tough. I didn't know how what will happen today, but I'm happy. So Stessen takes a win from Thelen. Lambers in third and the unfortunate Martin van Hoven in fourth. Jeff Mertens 
finishes in fifth. Continue with the finals, and this is the Super 1600 category with reigning champion David van den Brand on pole position. Next to him, Dennis Raymond and Bart Stouten on the outside in the 206. Bart Stouten tries to close in the gap from the outside, but that's difficult. David van den Brande keeps the lead. Can Raymond hold on to second? Yes, he can. There's some contact between him and Bowman. No damage though, van den Brande. And there's some cosmetic damage. Oh, Bowman, what does he do with the 206? He was a bit late in the joker lap. He almost lost control there, Bart Stouten. Van den Brande leading from Raymond's and then in third position it's the other fiesta of uh, Thijs Hezen. Van den Brande, no problem there. Bit of dust hanging over the Devil's Mountain there. Van den Brande now taking advantage of the duel between those two fiestas of uh, Hezen and Raymond's. And Hazen goes into the joker lap, but he's late on the braking. He lost some time there. He might lose a position to Stoughton. Where is Stoughton in the 206? There he is. He's in front of Hazen, the back of your image. For Stoughton, even with that um, damaged front bumper, looked like he might be heading for a podium finish. David van den Branden, the leader, goes into the joker lap, as does Dennis Raymond's right behind him. This is the top two. Can they stay in that same position? Yes, they can. Van der Brande comes out in the lead, Raymond in second, Stouten now in third indeed, heading for a podium finish after a difficult start. It's a top three of the starting grid and they might finish in that order as well. Here comes David Van der Brande, very happy man, takes the first win of the season from Raymond and Stouten in third. Davy a perfect season. Davy a perfect start of the season for you. Yeah, it couldn't be better. Unfortunately, uh, we had some uh, problems in the training. We had to change the gearbox. But thanks to uh, my, my dad, he's a, he's a super mechanic. Uh, everything came back into order. The heat uh, went perfectly. In the final, I had uh, not such a good start, but I still could take the lead. And once I was in the lead, I went flat out and uh, had all the trust that it, if I could take the lead, that I wouldn't lose it after that. We've uh, worked very hard uh, during the winter, so it's good to win this uh, first race of the season. Good win for Van den Brande from Raymond in Stouten, Hazen in fourth and Dave van Beers in fifth. Now back to the Super Nationals category over to Lita. This is the first of the semi-finals with uh, Steve Volders in the 77 Ford Escort in pole position. And he's no, he has to slot in behind Bert Bosman in the 242. That was not a good start for Volders. Has been struggling to get the power of his uh, beautiful escort to the ground all weekend long. So he has to follow Bosmans now. He's in front of uh, Van Geneugden though. Let's see if uh, Volders can get past the blue Volvo 242. Uh, he lost ground here and he loses even a position to Van Geneugden. He was a bit wide in the downhill section there. So no such good opening laps for the man with the Ford Escort and it's a Volvo 1-2 now with Bosmans and Van Genugde. Bosmans goes for the joker lap Van Genugde and Volders continue I think Bosmans will slot in in third position yes indeed so now it's a fight between Van Genugde and Volders for the virtual lead but in fact it's for second position if Bosmans doesn't make a mistake sliding all over the place these uh, mighty machines Van Genugden, Volders. One of them might go for the joker lap and it's Van Genugden. So Volders can continue. Let's see where Van Genugden come back, so comes back on the track. If he can slot in in front of Bosmans or not. Here's Volders. And now he can take up some speed and he takes the win. Good win for Volders in that semi-final. Bosmans in second, Van Genugden in third. Final then with Christoph Becks on the inside, then Volders and Luc Maris on the outside of the front line. Oh, and that's a good start from Volders. A far better start than he did in the semi-finals and he takes the lead. That's a surprise. Becks and Maris and here's Mandy Kass on the outside. And that's the end of the final for her. No, she can continue, but a good result is probably not on the cards right now. 
Back to the front, Steve Volders leading from backs, then Maris, then Bosmans, and Davy Leysen in the BMW, Van Uden in sixth. A very competitive class, this uh, Super Nationals class. And let's see if Steve Volders can hold on to that lead. He made a mistake in the semi finals here. And so he's sliding very wide there out of the last corner. He hasn't lost speed, I think. That's just his way of driving. Drifting through that first corner. Luke Maris trying to keep up with uh, Christoph Bex, who goes for the Joker lap. And now Bex will be in some difficulties because he will probably slot in behind Bosmans or even Lezen. He stays in front of the BMW. That might be important for the fight for the win because now he can develop some speed again. Even though he's just behind Bosmans now. Might not have been a good moment to take that choker lap. Maris now has uh, some free air in front of him. Might try, try, try to close the gap towards uh, Steve Volders. Still have to do their choker lap. And Bex has passed Bosmans. That was a good move. And very important as well. That allows him to get in front of Maris again. Yes, great move by uh, Christoph Bex in his uh, Volvo S14. He's in the best of the Volvo drivers again, but this is the best of them all. Steve Volders coming down the hill. Still has to do his joker lap though. Let's see what will happen if the escort comes out of the joker lap, if he can stay in front of Christoph Bex. Here he goes, carefully. Right hand lane up the mountain and there's no problem. Bex is nowhere near the Ford Escort. That's a perfect final. And, oh, Maris even tries to take second place away from Bex. With some late braking, just barely avoided that Volvo. But it's a great win for Steve Volders. Bex takes second position, or does he? Yes, he does. And Maris goes for third. Great win, then, for the escort man. Perfect final for you. Yes, uh, it all went well in the end, but um, we've had some problems all weekend to find some grip. Uh, we tried new tires, there was no grip. Uh, then in the in the semi-finals, uh, I didn't have enough grip. Uh, I almost uh, finished third, but I still won. And then we tried uh, for the finals, we just put on a set of new tires. They were not, not heated, all the other cars had some, uh, some, some warm tires. But with that uh, set of tires, I was had good grip and I could finish the job. Steve Holders winning it. From back, Maris Bosmans in third and Danny de Burglar in third. And now the last of the finals, the big ones, the supercars. With Jos Janssen in pole position, Jochen Koks next to him and Will Turlings on the outside of the front line. Let's take, see who takes the best start. It's Koks. Koks has surprised Jos Janssen and he takes the whole shot. Yes, he does. Ooh, Jos Janssen, there's a mistake there from Schevenels and Turlings. They're both off. So it's a three-way fight now for the lead. Schevenels can rejoin Thurlings at the end of the pack now. And he's lost all his chances. And Janssen slits a bit wide. Can Otting take advantage of that to take the second position away from the Ford driver? No, he's just taking behind some small contact there between the Ford and the Skoda. All to the advantage of Jochen Koks, of course. Had a difficult start to the weekend, but now in this final, he's getting away with a big lead there. Janssen trying to close the gap. Otting has lost some ground here. And Schevenils has a puncture. Left front. Of course, there was some contact in that first corner, and that's probably the consequence of it. Koks now coming out of the final corner. Off to an next lap. Jos Janssen has taken his joker lap already. Let's see what happens if Koks takes his. Here he goes. There is Janssen in the fort. That might be very close. No mistakes from Koks. Who comes out? And there's a small mistake from Janssen. And Koks is behind though. He's all over the back of that Ford now. And Janssen, who still has to do his joker lap. He made a small mistake before, that's why he lost so much ground. And now he's behind uh, the Sirocco of Schevenils, goes for the joker lap. Cox retakes the lead. Schevenils taking the outside line, letting the others through. 
Ooh, and there's a misunderstanding between Skevenhills and Janssen. Skevenhills who want to take the outside line to let Janssen through. They barely avoided contact there, but it's Jochen Koogs who takes the first win of 2015 from Jos Janssen. And Marcel Otik finishes in third. Great start of the season for Jochen Koogs then. Janssen in second, Donning in third. Skevenhills finishes in fourth, even with the puncture, and Turlings in fifth. And Cooks can receive the congratulations of his fellow drivers. Congratulations, first one of the season. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It couldn't have been a better start. Uh, I've been careful before the start of the season, but I really wanted to take this one. And now I have uh, taken these points. Nobody can take them away. And how was the final? And how was how was your final? You've uh, Jos Janssen had a good weekend. No, we didn't have um, very very good heats. But in in the final, I said uh, I gave it my all. I had a good start. And uh, once I had a good start, uh, I had to go as fast as possible. That was the end of our report. See you next time.